Did that look like you when you're practicing? I've seen it many, many times and we all do it. Guys, welcome down to Carter's Golf and thank you very much for joining me. Today's video is all about practice and how to practice, how to train. Hopefully most golfers are going to a golf range with a specific idea in mind, not just to kind of hit balls like I've just done there, which was a little bit tiring in this 50 degree heat and I'm already sweating. So straight away, not a good practice session. On the market at the moment, there are hundreds, if not thousands, of different types of training aids for different swing faults or just different swing ideas. And we've got them all in the academy. We've got Impact Bag, we've got Speed Trap, we've got Speed Sticks, we've got Fat Plate, we've got, we've got Technology, we've got K-Vest, we've got Trackman, um, we've got, I've got Hack Motion for the wrist angles. There's so much out there and they're all absolutely fantastic. They really are. The, the Tor Striker Ball, I use it a lot as well with, with, uh, with, with some of my lessons. So it's, there are so many great training aids out there, but you don't need to go out and spend hundreds of pounds on these training aids for your practice session. If you do, it's definitely still worthwhile, but I wanna just give you a couple of very simple ones today. And let's say, for example, you struggle with alignment. That doesn't mean you have to go out and buy two alignment sticks. You can use two golf clubs. You can, if you're practicing with a seven iron, grab your four and your five iron or your five and your six iron, lay them down parallel, get the club parallel to the, to the sticks, try and get your feet equidistant away from the sticks or the clubs as well. So straight away now, bearing in mind where that's now pointing, you're set up perfectly parallel. You can look at where your knees are, where your feet are, where your shoulders and where your hips. Trying to get everything in a nice straight line so, every, so you're all neutral. Keep looking as well from this position, keep looking at your target. So then your perception of the position that you're in relative to what you're looking at is key. Because I see a lot of golfers kind of stand up and that straight away they move back and then they turn the shoulders and they'll look over there and they'll change their positioning to accommodate for what they're looking at. So their perception is very different. So set up, you've, you know that these two alignment sticks are perfect. Whether they feel perfect over the ball or not, you know they're perfect, you have to trust it. So you're gonna take your setup, your grip, you're gonna make sure your feet feel like your feet are equidistant away from the, the first club or stick. Same with the shoulders, the knees and the hips. Keep looking down the target line, don't come out of your posture and go. Nah, no, decent shot. Always nice. Okay, another one that I like to see golfers using, again, this is super, super simple, swing path help. If you're a golfer that swings too much from the outside, so if you swing from out to in, grab two tees, put them on the outside of your golf ball, and if you swing from out to in, you're likely to move those tees. Even if you don't quite hit them, just the, the air from the, from the swing, from the club, we'll move them a little bit, okay? So I've got two, I've got two tees. I'm, they're, hopefully they're gonna try and stop me from swinging on the outside in terms of visually, obviously not physically because they can't, but visually they're gonna try and prevent me from swinging on the outside. I'm gonna hit my shot. Tees didn't move. Paul actually drew, so I definitely didn't swing it from out to in. And I've got instant feedback. We will, and I did this with a, with a lesson actually 30 minutes ago, funnily enough. And we did this, I've got, so we've got all the training aids in the world, and I put two T's down, just said this is how you should go and practice. So putting some obstacles in the way, something that gets in your eye. Now I've laid those T's down because we're on a mat. If you're on grass, you can just stand them up. So much, so much e even better to be fair, you get even better feedback. Just trying to practice correctly, make your practice worthwhile. If you don't have much time to practice, there's even more reason to do it correctly, to do it properly. Same for a golfer that swings it too much from the inside. Put the, cut, put the tee inside of the golf ball, have a few little rehearsals, make sure that club comes down outside and away from that tee. For me, that's a little bit more difficult to demonstrate because that's my swing fault, okay? But you're able then to make sure the club stays on the outside of the tee, and then again, you get your instant feedback from the quality of the shot, the quality of the strike, and the fact that the tee still stays there. Like I said, obviously it's even better if you can get it to sit up into the ground, then 
you get your better, you get even more accurate feedback. Really make sure that you've got something on the ground to practice with, otherwise you're just gonna hit shot after shot after shot. You're gonna learn nothing and improve nothing. And if anything, after a couple of bad shots, you'll start changing different things and you'll actually leave the driving range with 10 more swing thoughts than you actually arrived with. And that's not gonna be a good thing for the golf course either. So practice well, practice correctly, and practice a little bit more methodically rather than ball after ball after ball after ball. If you know what your swing fault is, it's gonna be really easy just to set up a little, little area on your practice, on your practice bay to make sure that you can get a better golf swing and therefore more consistency. And most importantly, more enjoyment from golf. <whistles> Guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this tip. You don't need to go and buy all the best and the greatest training aids. You can just get some tees and alignment sticks. Guys, thanks very much for watching. See you soon.